Where even is he? There's this handy dandy guide of how to set up this stuff. Oh, I found it. <laughs> I found it. Okay, never mind. Alright. So I can actually correct this now, which is fantastic. <laughs> Because I was worried it was just going to be wrong the entire time, which I would hate to happen. Um, right, so we got a uh, Steel Kangaroo versus uh, Kualu here. There we go. That should work, right? Maybe, possibly, I don't know. If I said it correctly, but the point is, both good players, both very good players. Uh, they're both also homies, so like I, I want both of them to win, which is uh, a bit of a problem. Divided loyalties. Steel talked to me briefly uh, earlier about this very match. Uh, he says he thinks he'll have to play more defensive, kind of like ca more campy. Uh, so we'll see. See if he does that. Ooh, <laughs> goes for the spike. That's ballsy. I mean, it didn't work, but it, he didn't get killed for it either. So, hey. Might as well, in my opinion. Alright, okay, so Paul was a bit ahead there, but uh still evened it up. Geez, bit of a chain there. Fancy stuff. Mm. Nice uh ledge dash there from Steel Kangaroo. Kualu has gotten like two balloons so far though, so I'm pretty sure he's winning the balloon game, which is majorly important <laughs> in my honest opinion, my humble opinion, whatever the expression is, I don't even know. Steel's got the solar beam, so he's going to try to get something to land into that probably, doesn't want to save it. Oh, there he goes, gets the reverse, evens it up. Smart move. He avoided that, and he dunked him. Steel's been using a lot of ledge dashes. I mean, it's a good move, definitely. But, I don't know. Maybe he hasn't used them as much as I've seen. I've noticed a couple times, though. Oh, if he gets a solar beam. Ah, uh, he uses it a bit too early. So, I imagine Paulu wants to finish off the stock here, go for a combo, finish the game if he can, because Steel's bringing it back. Smart sweet spot the ledge there. Uh, 
Uh, yep, that's it. Very close game, though. That's good stuff. Alright. So, where does Steel want to go? Ops for uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. That's a fun stage. That's a good one. Although, obviously, there's much more logic beyond it than, no, oh, that stage is fun, but, you know, it is, it is, you know, it's a good one. That's my point. <laughs> oh, me, oh, my. Went for the seed bomb juggle there. That's always fun, but didn't quite get it. Lucario's got a lot of really good movement options, so... That's going to be kind of tricky. Ooh, nice dare. Intercepted him there. Ooh, he wanted to seal the stock with a nair there, but he got the uh, weak point. Yeah, not close enough for the tether to connect. Still trying to camp a bit more now, sit back a little. Trying to make Paulu approach him. Uh, Keychain NYC. Uh, this region is. Uh, it says Colorado beneath the versus sign there. It scrolls on the bottom, but that's just. It's it's not Colorado. It's the Twilight Zone. That's the region we're in right now. But, uh, yeah, I mean, by the way, there's game volume, right? Like, coming through the stream. I can't hear it, and I don't really care, but, like, I, I, <laughs> you know, that would really stink for there to be no game audio. I also didn't notice the floating Colorado beneath the uh, verses until like I was trying to verbally shitpost by calling this the Twilight Zone. So don't worry, don't worry about it. I wasn't accusing you of anything. I was just trying to make bad jokes because I'm not good enough to comment. <laughs> oh. Man, they've been keeping it real even. This is just even Steven Town. Lots of bears there. This is so close, man. Oh, man. Uh, I want both of these guys to win. That's the problem. Man, why can't it be easy? I like easy peasy. Ooh, yeah. So, Paul who got the uh, tech there. He like, basically like always gets the tech. Because uh, he just, you know... He prepares to enter it even if uh, even if he's not going to need it. Like, uses it anyways because it buffers. So, just in case.
Uh, interesting that Steel chose to stay on the platform. Um, I guess it's because he wanted to juggle, but, like, I almost wonder if it would have been better to, like, drop down and kind of intercept, or try to intercept Qualu as he, like, fell, but, hey, I'm not, I'm not the good, <laughs> I'm not the good player here. Uh... He was at SG for a long time, uh, Keychain, yeah, still Kangaroo was. Ooh, goes for the uh, up air there. It was a good attempt, but again, it didn't work. Hasn't worked either of the times he's tried it, but like, I mean, it's not like that's a bad thing. Oh no, ah, uh, he's off putting himself in a bit of a risky position there he wanted or he he wants to just win the match you know just kind of end it but like he's i don't know man i feel like that up air is more risky than like something he should be going for ah oh, man <laughs> This entire thing's just like wicked close. Oh my god. Ooh, boy. Is that ooh wow, C bomb, yeah. Alright, so we're one one now. Um I mean I wanna say I think Steel was going for like like way like I don't know like that up air basically on like Qualu when he was shielding like I don't know I feel like that was unnecessarily risky but uh you know I don't know what I'm talking about I just think if he keeps going for like kind of more risky stuff, Palu's gonna end up punishing him for it. I think. I mean, maybe it's not that risky. I don't know, but like to me, I'm just like, wow, that's pretty risky. Oh yikes! <laughs> Paul was trying to be starting something. That's a song. Is that a Michael Jackson song? Yeah, it is a Michael Jackson song, isn't it? I'm hip. I know pop culture references. Interestingly, Steel went for a razor leaf to cover the ledge but Pualu wasn't there. I guess it was just like a preemptive measure like to prevent him from actually like going onto the ledge or whatever. But I mean he was at the point where he was so close that it just kind of the razor leaf just kind of died immediately. I don't know. I feel like I'm talking more about what Steel's doing than what Poilu's doing, and, uh, you know, I'd like to talk about the players evenly, but the thing is, I have a little bit more Ivysaur experience than Lucario experience, <laughs> so at least I can pretend to know what I'm saying when I talk about Ivysaur. Oh yes, I did say, uh, I did say Wicked probably at some point, I don't know. Sorry, I'll, I could try to avoid saying it, but like, I don't know. I confused some people earlier by saying Bubbler, 
I always forget people don't know what bubblers are. Oh well. Paul well, was trying to hold center stage there. He's really trying to uh, like force space with uh, the seed bombs and the razor leaf and whatnot, but I mean, Paulu's kind of just kind of dancing and avoiding it. Ooh, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. But, uh... Despite the good stuff, he is on a stock deficit here. Poilu's got a fairly comfortable lead. Unless uh, Steel gets a gimp on him or something. But I don't think that's going to happen. Poilu is pretty good at uh, not, you know, getting gimped and stuff. Stuff like that, you know. Oh, boy. That was almost it. Yeah. Yep. All right, I don't know. I think that was probably best of three. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, the answer is yes. It was best of three, I think. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. I think... I mean, the only thing I think I can really even... Att 